Hi everyone. I'm here to introduce you to a game I've been working on for the past three years. It's called Jempire Zarman's Demands. Now Jempire is a three to five player game that lasts about 60 minutes long. And Jempire is a strategic hidden action city building board game and I'll explain a little bit about what that means later. But the theme of Jempire is that King Zarmond is choosing a new capital city. And he's gonna make three demands for that new capital city at the beginning of the game that are random, and those work as the victory conditions for that game. Now, the players are playing the architects of the five cities in the running, and the winner is the architect who can meet any two of those three victory conditions or demands first. So I, I kind of created Jempire as a way to give people who like strategy games out there as a way to give them a little bit of a different experience from what's already out there. And uh, what I mean by that is that Jempire is not a contest to see who can get the most victory points or the most money or even to build the biggest city. You know, I think there's enough games that you can find out there with that, and I wanted to make something a little, a little bit different. So um, the first thing that's great about Jempire is that it's really replayable. Um, Every game, you're going to have a different combination of the 15 victory victory conditions that are included in the game. So um, each game is going to be quite a bit different. It's going to require a different approach from you to win, uh, as, as well as other things like you'll have access to a different combination of the 20 technologies that are included in the game. And then also the the rewards for upgrading your palace are also randomized for each game. So you're not going to get the same experience twice playing this game, uh, which keeps it very replayable. And I don't think you're going to get tired of it very, very quickly. Uh, the other thing about Jempire is that it's very engaging because you never have to wait your turn. Each player gets one of these, these uh, secret dry erase planning books, which this kind of plays into that hidden action aspect I was talking about earlier. Each player gets one of these, which they can use to keep track of their progress throughout the game and also to plan out their next turn. So the way turns work in Jempire is that everybody has one of these planning, book, these planning books, they plan out their next turn in secret, and then when everyone's ready, they reveal it to the group, and they resolve their action. So nobody's going to want to get on their phone. I think it's going to keep everyone engaged. It's, it's a really good time. Um, other than that, while you play the, as you play the game, you're going to be constructing these building cards in your city. And they can help you in one of three attributes. So first, they can be green, which would help your population. They can be yellow, which would help your gold. Or they can be purple, and that would help your culture. So as you construct more buildings in your city, you're going to be keeping track of that progress here in your book, and that's what allows you to get the gems that are in the box. Uh, now, each one of these attributes helps you in its own unique way, so you can use that to your advantage as you're planning out your strategy. Uh, you can also um, be more advanced in science and discover more technologies. You can renovate your palace all the way up to level five, depending on you know what rewards you want for that game. It's really up to, it's completely up to you on what strategy you want to take to try to be the first one to get two of those three victory conditions. So without going into the full set of rules, um, I, I kind of want to keep this video short and sweet for you all. Um, if you want to read the, the full set of rules, I have the latest edition of my rule book on uh, my website, which is gymtimegames.com. You can also download it from the Gympire page on boardgamegeek.com. And I can have both of those links in the description for you to check out. Uh, the Kickstarter won't start for a little while until I have a little bit more of a following. It's pretty small right now, so uh, please help out in any way you can. If you want to tell your friends that might be interested, spread it on social media. Um, give me questions or suggestions or comments uh, on my email, which is gymtimegames at gmail.com. Uh, lastly, I, I just want to thank all of you for watching this video, um, giving me a little bit of your time. Um, I hope it looks interesting to you. I'm, I'm going to be sure to keep you updated on any progress. It's getting pretty close to that first uh, manufactured prototype, so I'm getting pretty excited. Uh, thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.